so will be solved in 10.21. From the problem, we can see that the only given that we can use is theta equals 65.0 degrees, and we're asked to find coefficient of static friction between the surface of the hill and the surface of a, a solid sphere b hollow sphere and c why did we use the coefficient of static friction instead of kinetic friction so to illustrate the problem it is as follows the forces acting on the sphere is the force of gravity the normal force and the frictional force using this we can construct the free body diagram the forces acting on it and the force of gravity and its coordinates for this problem we will use the equation of the torque equals moment of inertia times alpha with this we have to substitute alpha with a different variable using the, its relationship with the linear acceleration with this we arrive at this situation where the torque is only produced by the frictional force this is because the normal force force of gravity doesn't cause any rotation only the frictional force and sine 90 is equals to 1 and the acceleration is substituted as well as the inertia with this the r is cancelled and we arrive at equation 1 for equation 2 we will use the y coordinate the ball doesn't move in the y axis so this is equals to 0 so we cancel that the force acting on y is the force of gravity and the normal force so we arrive at equation 2 so for the forces acting on x it is these two so with this mass will cancel out um it's acceleration linear acceleration and we arrive at equation three so using these three equations we'll plug in equation two and equation three to equation one so with this we arrive at, at this situation where f of n is this and a is this with this mg cancels out we arrive at this divide both sides by cosine we will arrive at tangent and 2 times 5 equals 10 5 times 7 35 plugging in the values we will get 0 0.613 so this is the minimum value of the coefficient of static friction as for part b it is essentially the same except the moment of inertia changes the process is the same where this transfers out and arriving at the equation one equation two re remains the same the acceleration is just changed by this the inertia so the the same process applies where equation two and three are plugged into equation one and we arrive at this and this still transfers out divide both sides by cosine arrive at tangent and this is the answer so with this we, we can conclude that the minimum coefficient of static friction of a solid sphere is not sufficient for a hollow sphere in that it cannot prevent it to slip and see why did we use the equation of static friction instead of kinetic friction the condition specified in the problem is that there should be no slipping therefore the sphere must not be moving with respect to the ground and is therefore static